Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Derek Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. I just want to quickly talk about uh, some remarks put out by John Morant yesterday. Um, basically, you know, paraphrasing here, but basically doubling down on what he said in uh, December when he said that he believes that the Grizzlies were uh, fine in the West. They had that, that sitting down interview with uh, Malika Andrews back in um, December, like around the holidays. And when he back when he said it, man, it's just everybody was thought it was cool to say, you know. And that was because Grizzlies had was on a, um, a winning streak. <laughs> there was on a winning streak that got extended to eleven by the uh the time of the Martin Luther King holiday. You know, it ended on uh Friday, that Friday against the uh Los Angeles Lakers, which was a uh, close game and uh you know, a crazy one at, at that, at um, at that to say to say the least, with that whole altercation between Shannon Sharp and um, Dylan Brooks, and also a uh, team Morant. But you know, a lot of people, you know, Jai has uh, come under a lot of heat for, for for saying that at the time. Well, saying that you know a month later because they went on this little five game losing streak, and you know they weren't consistent winning things like that and then you know there's just a little other incidents you know popped up with the, with, the, with, the, with his uh his people you know his entourage you know his friends at the game and they're pointing to act all his accusations of him uh his people pointing the laser at the uh indiana paces and things like that it's just all his other nonsense not everybody just want to pile on a, on a, a remark now but I give John credit for this, man. Having confidence in yourself and your team, and not be discouraged by what these other uh, organizations do and how they perceive you. So, I really know. I really didn't have no big deal, no issue with what he said, man. You know, he, you know, you bag it up on the court. You know, if you don't get it done, if you don't get it done. Uh, lesson learned. You know, um, I didn't have an issue with, it, with what he said, man. You confident in yourself, that's great. In your team's abilities, that's great. You know, but a lot of people really start saying, you know, start, you know, bringing it up after the Suns went and got Kevin Durant. You know, now they got basically, a, um, I would say, a super team now in that conference in the West. Because. They didn't have that before. Stack team. But man, look. John's gonna be alright, man. He's gonna be alright. As he gets older, he'll grow. You know, but I, I, that, that still doesn't mean, you know, move away from what you are as a player. Because he got it, man. He I seen it from the day. He joined the organization, you know, um, got a lot of confidence, swagger, and the team vibes off of that, you know. So there's no need for him to change who he is as a player, man. These that uh, the other stuff that went down with with him and his uh, his, well, with his entourage and the Pacers, that's water under the bridge, man. Because they really didn't find nothing incredible to like press charges or anything like that. And everybody's running the running with that stuff now. We're saying they're concerned for Jai and he not a dug and he, he not a, man. When did it come to that? Why did it come to, come down to that? When you had, there's no credible evidence of, of that happening, you know. But that's all I gotta say on it, you know. Jai, continue to be who you are. Continue to have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your, your teammates. Have confidence in themselves. Y'all have confidence as a whole, as an organization, that you can beat these teams. And we'll see how it play out on the court um, in, um, going into May. But right now they're going to the All-Star break. They got lost to the Boston Celtics. Uh, and I was expecting that loss. You know, um, he played in one of the best teams in the NBA on the road. A team that is projected by many to uh, compete for a championship. And I'm not saying that the Grizzlies are far off. But if you go to the finals, 
if you somehow get past Phoenix and you make it to the finals, Boston Boston is a team that you're blindly gonna face. You know, that's either Boston or Milwaukee. And possibly Philly. But continue to be who you are, Chop. Um, double down on it. That's fine with me. You just gotta um back it up on the court. If it don't fall, if it don't you know work out, oh well. Don't feel bad. Don't don't come back, you know, six months later or you know, five months later and say, oh man, man, I should have said that. Nah, it is what it is, man. It'll be you. So we'll see how it play out. That's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, let me know how y'all feel. Do you think uh, how you feel about y'all doubling down on what he said in December? Also check out strikeservicesports.com. Today's content on the Memphis Grizzlies, the NFL, the NBA, and much more. Blessed day. Be safe out there. Peace.